So we've taken a look at a number of potential policies to help a uh, domestic industry that's competing with cheaper foreign uh, products. Uh, in particular, we've considered quotas with free licenses, quotas with auction licenses, tariffs, uh, and production subsidies. And it's useful now to, to try and compare these uh, policies to see which one causes uh, the, um, uh, you know, the best economic outcome for the country as a whole. Now, the first thing we want to do is identify the, the circumstance. So we're looking at a small country, perfect competition, homogeneous goods, so keep it as, as simple as possible. And the goal that I'm going to pursue is trying to get a target level of domestic production. So an increase in domestic production of some, some particular amount. Now, why do I emphasize that? Well, if you were looking at, say, we, we wanted to reduce imports by a certain amount, that's a different goal. Or if you wanted to de decrease the, uh, the reliance on a particular foreign source or wanted to decrease the domestic uh, consumption of a particular a product that's imported. Those are those are different goals, and so you may have a different uh, set of uh, uh, criteria. So we want to very explicitly say that what we're going to, the basis of comparison is looking at how the different instruments achieve the goal that we're trying to uh, trying to meet. So we have you know the standard story: domestic supply and uh, domestic demand, and we will have a perfectly elastic world supply curve so that the, the product can be uh, purchased on the international market as much as this country might, uh, might want. Q1 to Q2 are the imports uh, under free trade. And let's say that we're trying to reach quantity Q3. That's the amount of domestic production that these, all of these instruments are supposed to uh, get to. Now that could be an associated increase in domestic uh, employment, but let's focus on the, uh, strictly on the production side of things. So in essence, what we're trying to do is to get you have some sort of incentive for the domestic firms to not produce Q1, but to get it to Q3. Now, the domestic firms are not going to do this originally because the, uh, the cost, given by the height of the supply curve, exceeds the price that they would receive under uh, international free international competition. So the domestic firms are unwilling to, uh, to produce that, that amount. So, one way... is that you could impose a tariff with the difference between these two prices being the tariff. Okay, that increases the domestic production from Q1 to Q3. It does reduce domestic consumption from Q2 to Q4. And as we have outlined in a separate video, the, the net losses of the tariff to the economy is area B and D. That's after taking uh, into account the, uh, the effects on consumers, on producers, and on the uh, government, uh, government revenue. We can also restrict, rather than increase the prices, we could restrict imports to being equal to whatever the difference is between Q4 and Q3. So instead of increasing the prices to get uh, production to go up, we could just restrict the amount that foreigners can compete, a, a quota, a quantitative restriction. And as we saw there, that could increase the uh, domestic production, essentially by limiting the amount that, of stuff that can come in from, from, the, foreign, uh, from the foreign source increasing the price indirectly. And as we saw, 
there were effects on the domestic economy in that instance. So if licenses are free, that is to say, the foreigners who want to get uh, into this uh, protected domestic market are, are allowed to do so with no payments to the government at all, so that they uh, will be able to, once they get the piece of paper that allows them to come in, they get to keep the extra profits associated with operating in this uh, uh, domestic market. The net losses in that case, this is with the free licenses, BD plus C. C is a transfer from domestic consumers to the foreign uh, producers. Uh, this is, as we'll talk about, essentially what happens with a voluntary export restraint. So from an overall national welfare standpoint, a tariff is better than the quota with the free license. But we also showed how if you had auctioned the license to foreigners as well, so that foreigners would ha uh, have to pay for the right to get into this market. And moreover, if they had to compete with other foreign firms that were trying to get access to this protected market, then the net losses to the country could be only be ending because C, the quota rents, would be paid by the foreigners to the domestic government and partial compensation for the, uh, for the losses that would have occurred if, the, if the, the licenses were free. So this is the difference between the, the, these two types of quotas is all about how you, you allocate the licenses. So a tariff and a quota with auction license can have similar effects. A production subsidy, on the other hand, which doesn't increase prices directly, but instead lowers the effective cost of production to the domestic firms to induce them to produce more by essentially shifting out the supply curve, you would have a net domestic loss of only B. So recall that B was the cost of inefficient domestic production, D is the cost of con consumers priced out of the market. So with the production subsidy, you only get the inefficient domestic production, not the consumers that are forced to stop buying this product because the, uh, the price has gone up. So using this analysis, from an economic standpoint, the domestic production subsidy, clearly the best. It achieves the goal of increased domestic production without increasing the cost to domestic consumers who would be otherwise be priced out of the market under these other instruments. Tariff is better, uh, is not as good as a production subsidy at getting uh, the target level of production, but it is better than the quotas. Now, one could argue that the tariffs and the auction licenses have similar and even identical effects in the, in the short term. But if we look at these policies as groups, production subsidy is best, tariff is second, quotas are third. But I would urge you to think about the, the distinction between these two, because even within here, the quota with the, with the auction license is better than the uh, quota with the, the free license. So in sum, if you're trying to help a domestic industry by increasing domestic production, uh, if it faces international competition, from a purely economic standpoint, the production subsidy it has, uh, has a better net impact on the, the, uh, on the domestic economy.